Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to browse as a guest on a Chromebook computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you would have to do if you're already signed into an account here would be just to sign out. So I'm just going to click on the clock icon and then I'm going to select sign out. We want to go back to the lock screen here. And now, once this lock screen loads, there should be a few different options we'll have down in the bottom left corner of the screen. And one of which will be to browse as a guest. It just appears it's just taking a moment to load up here. And you can see, like I said, browse as guest. So go ahead and just left click on that. So, pretty simple. I mean, if you're just returning on your computer, you would have the option just to select that without having signed in. However, we were already signed in, so I signed this out. But you guys get the gist of what we just did. But anyway, right from the lock screen when we were signing in, you had the option to browse as a guest. So you can see that in this little description here. It says pages you view in this window won't appear in the browsing history. And they won't leave other traces like cookies on the computer after you sign out. Files you download and bookmarks you create won't be preserved. So basically it's like browsing in incognito mode. But everything is still traceable to your internet service provider and whatnot. But just on the local computer it's for all intents and purposes not being saved so pretty straightforward process do I was able to help you out once you're done you can just sign out of here and you can exit guests by clicking on the clock and then select exit the guest and you can go back to your normal lock screen so pretty straightforward process do I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye